programs to support researchers uh -huh. uh, as basic researcher and then moving on to commercial activity. And the, the I-Corps program uh, was developed in response to a, a recognition that different ecosystems across the country supported innovation differently. Mm -hmm. And the, there were like three type of models. One was, you know, we want to be aspirational and, you know, we want to be a Berkeley or we want to mm -hmm. be a Stanford, we want to be an MIT, but we just, we don't have the resources. And, you know, they're like stage one, so they, they're talking about it, but they're not really doing anything. Yeah. Or they're doing it different ways, like Utah that seems to be doing some... Well, you know, Utah is, is what, what we would call phase two. Uh -huh. So Utah has actually st stood up some programs and, you know, they're, they're, co they're kind of coordinated and they're, they're high profile programs mm -hmm. and they're... You know, the get, getting the, the IP out, we started 200 companies, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then there's it's sort of everything goes into this funnel, right? Right. And Even though they, so they're not up there in, the, in their research, they're, they're being able to, to do lots of things that sort and, of. And it's a tight pipeline, uh -huh. right? It's like you go to this step, you go to this step, you go to this step, and you go to this step. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then there's ecosystems that so are. So they're efficient. efficient. They're, they're efficient, yeah. uh -huh. right? Yeah, but uh -huh. their effectiveness is mixed. Uh -huh. They don't have the same resources going in. Mm -hmm. They don't have the same talent around mm -hmm. it. They they don't have the they don't have this mm -hmm. hovering around. So they're they're really efficient, but their effectiveness is mixed. Mm -hmm. And then there's the Stanford's and the Berkeleys of the world that are this hodge. MIT is the same thing. Yeah. This hodgepodge of activity. It's all over the place, and they're effective, mm -hmm. but their efficiency mm -hmm. is 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 you know it's not. There's lots of overlap, lots of waste, and. Our, our experience was that it took decades for this to be built. Yeah. This could you could do with a strong leader, mm -hmm. right? You could mm -hmm. just and these guys were just beginning. Right. And so it was like you, you mean the three, strong leader is the Utah city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. So just somebody coming in and say, God damn it, this is what we're gonna do. Uh -huh. And we're gonna invest in right. this and we're gonna do a center, we're gonna set up a center and this center is gonna be the center of activity and do do do. Mm. And um, there it is. So mm. I think that the effective ecosystems are ones where the, the Resources have just been. They, they were already there. They're, they're poured in, and they're already there, and they've been they've been building for decades. Mm -hmm. This ecosystem. Do you, you know? think uh, leadership in that sense would help, or, or would it uh, disturb the process of? I, I don't know. Because I have the feeling that if someone starts in in, in in a chaotic place like this one, if someone starts saying, "Well, this is the place that this is the way that we should go." People would just say, well, yeah, we, 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 we'll yeah, go somewhere yeah, else, right? right. <laughs> now I know that I want to go somewhere else. Yeah, so. that's right. I think that's right. Yeah. So I think it's like that in the wild too, right? Mm. So, you know, you have a lot of, a lot of or organisms that are competing for resources and so on. Mm -hmm. And they, that tussle is actually healthy, right? Mm -hmm. And um, that's the ecosystem that we have here at Cal. So yeah. you've got, you know, you've got SECT, you've got the Foundry, you've mm. got Skydeck, mm -hmm. you've got i core you've got mm. da 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 yeah. da, da, da. Mm -hmm. and, and that's that's healthy but man if you want to if you want to build that mm -hmm. you've got to invest for decades mm -hmm. you know, and the amount of money that you put have to put into that is also extreme right i mean it's not to, to build what they already have here before we start do, before anyone start talking about entrepreneurship yeah yeah uh -huh. so the 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 second one is doable yeah. right that like yeah. that's that's an exercise mm -hmm. that you can you know yeah. And maybe uh, maybe one of the things that I didn't say about my uh, own interests as a researcher, of course, being a Brazilian researcher, I say, okay, but, I mean, we read everything about the Silicon Valley and it's it's the model for a cl cluster of technology and everything. But we all know that it's impossible to replicate something. Um, Trillions right? of dollars. But uh, so, 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 so from what you're saying, it's probably in our case, we, we should focus more on the Utah model that would probably... Well, so the, the second one is doable, uh -huh. right? Yeah. I mean, it takes strong leadership. Yeah. You invest in it and look like that. Mm -hmm. That's. I don't know if that's the yeah. first yeah. step toward the third one. Sure. I don't know that. Sorry, what, what is know. the third one? Uh, the third one is the mix up of the ecosystem, right? The, the, the rich ecosystem, right? Okay. First is I want to do it. Uh -huh. Second is I, I'm doing it and everything's in a funnel uh -huh. and it's it's efficient. I mean, it's, it's you know, there's a pipeline. And then the third one is the is the rich ecosystem, right? I see. So so you you have the 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 effective, the efficient, and now the third one would be try to mesh the two of them. No. Uh, no? The the first one is I just want to do it. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's like I'm recognizing yeah. that this I is see. important. I see. Uh huh. Okay. So they're they're, so they're, they're not zero. efficient. They're they're they're, they're nothing yet. They, they just have a direction. They've maybe. got a direction. The, there's actually one before that, the zero one, uh -huh. right? 
that's the academic yeah. institution yeah. is pure like research is right. research, uh -huh. research and we're not uh -huh. touching this so take those guys out of the stack the first one is, yeah, we recognize that innovation is important. Mm -hmm. We recognize that getting stuff out of the lab is important. Mm -hmm. We recognize that our researchers will care mm -hmm. that this stuff sees this, but we don't have systems in place. Mm -hmm. So that's probably Arizona 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And then there's the Arizona, which is the, you know, a very efficient pipeline. Um, Arizona's like this too, ASU. Okay. Uh -huh. they, they've done a good job of putting together a strong uh, pipeline. Mm -hmm. Um, UCSD has too. The, the Von Liebig Center was a good example of a, of, a, of these pipeline activities. But with with in those cases, you say with a strong governance uh, or yeah. someone pointing out the way and yeah. saying, "Well, I will like if you do that at yeah. least." Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you've got the third one, which is the ecosystem, right. which, is, which that's the Mike Cohen picture, which is so rich uh -huh. that if you tried to build that, you couldn't you mm -hmm. couldn't rebuild mm -hmm. it. It's just so. There's so many um, overlapping uh, capabilities, and you know, everybody wants to be that. Mm -hmm. Actually, not everybody wants to be that. Some people think that the second one is actually better. Uh -huh. I would probably think that, uh, at least for private, well, well, uh, there's private and private universities. Let, but, but let's say you, if, if, if you're not a res really research-focused university, yeah. probably that would be a possible way to go. If you're not really, or, yeah, I don't know. or you, or you, you don't even think that uh, you, you think that this we're always talking about research universities here. So when you, when I was at NSF, that's the only one that uh -huh. we looked at. Okay, because, it was because like of course you're you, yeah. you financing yeah. Uh, research. Yeah, research. Yeah. So uh -huh. the the question was, what what can we do to increase the effectiveness of taking the basic research and turning it into innovation? Uh huh. So the the question was, yeah, based based on the, the research. Considering that they are research-oriented yeah. uh, right. institutions already. And right. then, uh, I, but I've never looked at the other ones. I, yeah. I have no, yeah. no, no experience but I, was, I, was, I was guessing, and maybe that's my Brazilian uh, bias here again, because over there, uh, we, in general, the, what well, we even have, I, I think this happens also here in the States, but we have a very clear for-profit university system that goes along with the research or and in general, those universities, they don't even, they, 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 they tell teaching. that they, we're teaching. teaching, yeah, we're we are, we are actually only forming people. But they, they do some uh, good stuff with respect to entrepreneurship as well, except that it's never, you know, to, to bring uh, businesses that are completely yeah. uh, new and uh, that will change uh, uh, the whole environment or anything. It's, it's, it's more like... Well, it's not going to be bakeries uh, that, yeah. that you know. But how do you, how do you manage yeah, risk? Yeah, but it's yeah, exactly. Stuff. It's 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 usually based on 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 things that already exist and that they they just perfect. It's just maybe marginal innovation and, and that that would make those. So that's why I, I thought of. But of course, uh, uh, I corps would never even w uh, worry about uh, teaching universities. It would only be focused on. Uh, uh, well, if you think about, uh, I, I don't know how, how, how familiar you, you, you are with that, with that model that Mike Cohen uh, has, what are, if, if you have to, had to say, well, these are the, let, let's say, if, if, we are, if we are to bring any governance to this, any level of governance, yeah, yeah. even if it's subtle, what are the boxes that really need to be pushed? Uh, or in your So I've, I've given this some thought uh -huh. uh, as a, as a, member of the community okay. and as, a, as an investor. And the, um, from an investor's standpoint, it's easy, very, very easy to say, I want to just go to one spot because I can only spend 10% of my mm -hmm. time here. But that's unrealistic. Mm. So I think that if, if there were something that you could overlay so that there were um, just somebody making the dots. Alex, you've just finished the foundry. Your next step should be Skydeck. Mm -hmm. Skydeck, you know, after Skydeck, your next step should be over here. And if, if there were some way to provide a course, roadmap, a or, roadmap uh -huh. for your particular needs. Right. So right now, you should be going here, 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 and here. Uh -huh. The other team should be going A, Different C, ways, yeah. D, yeah. G. Uh -huh. The other team should be going X, P, Q, V. Mm -hmm. Right. So if there was just a little bit of. Um, yeah, road mapping. Right. I think that would be very valuable. Yeah, and 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 
who do you think could provide? The, who has the big picture? The, the provost I, could do that. Okay. Uh -huh. If the so. provost had an office, and they they basically, the problem is here's the problem, is that whoever can do that well is extremely valuable, mm -hmm. and they would not do that. I mean, they would they would go say, say fuck you. Yeah. I'm gonna go do this and make a lot of money. Uh -huh. uh, you know, putting you know putting together. It's, it, the, the problem is, is that the, that that, that skill set is so highly valued, mm. and 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 possibly uh, it would also it's it's not only having the ability but being perceived by the ecosystem yeah. as having the ability, right? So yeah. it will have to be someone high in the rank, yeah, uh, and wishing to commit a lot of uh, time and effort to. Uh, yeah. Interesting, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and people like that, they can do anything they want in their life. Mm -hmm. And I doubt that that's what they want to do because mm -hmm. it's, it's hard, right? Mm -hmm. It's hard to convince you that, you know, Alex, I understand where you are, but you really need to be over here. And, like and, that, and besides, maybe, maybe this is also something that it would have to be someone that has what I would call the perspective of an ego, but would have to understand the problem yeah. of each particular uh, uh, well, uh, researcher yeah. uh, in, in enough detail. Yeah. So it would have to be someone that, like, like, uh, I think I have. Have I seen you in Skydeck before? Or oh, advising, I, I or you? you Skydeck, yeah. yeah. So, so maybe well, that's for, from there that I. I uh, so it would have to be someone that is there and talking to, to also to, to those companies and. Yeah. So they have to be able to span scale. Yeah, exactly. The yeah. ego and the let's say the the monkey down here uh, at a more, I wouldn't say operational, but more tactical level as well. It it is tactical and uh -huh. it's also. Um, psychological right because I've got to convince you mm -hmm. that the next step is here I don't actually have the authority to make you do it uh -huh. I've got to show you yeah. that you need to do yeah. it right and people who who can do that are you know they, they just have they can do anything yeah yeah so I don't I don't know if that's a function the university would be good at uh -huh. I think I that if you if if the so private that, sector valued it mm -hmm. right and had but the private sector would probably never get into understanding the, you know, the. I don't know how much. Uh, uh, I think that's right. You're right. Yeah. So, so it's 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 a situation that is. Uh, the business model doesn't exist. No. Uh -huh. To be able to do what what, what I'm suggesting. Yeah. Uh -huh. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Do you think uh, uh, that we we see that many of these boxes that appear in that model they appear. Uh, Many times it, it, it's still it, it's a, there's a lot of volunteer work there. There's a lot of even even from the organizations that are okay, Ipira they they have a they, they're clear they they clearly have to there's do something cash. about it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But but still, what 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 Mike does with that is much more than licensing or or, or intellectual property or something. He you know he's committed, but, right? There, there's a lot of commitment from uh, all these different uh, people. Uh, but again, it's not the provost uh, in, in, in most cases. And uh, do you see at the the, the university? And, and, and I definitely do not have enough experience with this university. Too, do you see uh, uh, that the leadership of the university itself is putting more interest in other paths, uh, other other ways that researchers can go with their research than just pub uh, publishing their papers yeah. or? You yeah. think that this is happening, and, and, and how, how is this evolving over time? So I, I think that they're being forced to evolve because uh -huh. the young faculty members are saying, "I need something more out of my life than just publishing papers." Mm -hmm. So I want you to show me how you're going to support my career growth, and if you can't support my career growth, I'm going to Stanford, mm -hmm. I'm going to Caltech, I'm going wherever. I see. So even if this market is, it's. I don't think that there's. Even without visionary leadership, mm -hmm. the the needs of the faculty and the needs are of the changing. student uh -huh. are changing, uh -huh. and it, the, the the leadership is very very smart. They can read the you know they right. they can read the, the yeah writing for the wall. for for BPAF, for the the Berkeley Postdoc Entrepreneur Program. I would say that I think that that was an important drive. Uh, the guys who started it as volunteers. I don't know if you if, do you know Naresh uh, Sunkar? Uh, no, uh, no. He, yeah. Well, he, he was he he, uh, he was actually the guy who, who brought me here, and he's not really even. I, I think he's a counselor, or he 
an advisor to the vice yeah, yeah, chancellor. Yeah, yeah. He's got it's, this good, good, good black hair and uh, yeah, he's an Indian guy. Yeah, no, 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 well, I I know him. Yeah, short, short, but, no, but no, no, okay. But anyway, he's 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 just in it because he was a postdoc here and he wanted to start his business because mainly because he noticed that there wouldn't be room for him in academia. Uh, totally. So, that's so right. that's what that's what they many postdocs are perceiving. You know, I'm here, I'm doing research, but I'm not going to become the the PI ever or chances are very small so I better so it's not only faculty it's it's you know you know uh, we saw that at NSF. Uh -huh. absolutely right and clear signal and so but this is coming from a, let's say it's almost a student's organization right it's uh, 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 and so, it, it's, so you, you it's think in, it caused a push an important push in it absolutely it's inexorable because the you know these the people at the top the management they have to find some way to house, to support this, the graduates as they leave, mm, right? Mm -hmm. And they're not all going to go to Silicon Valley mm -hmm. to work, or they're not going to go to the Midwest to work mm -hmm. anymore. And the lifeblood of the institution is what? It's not the research. It's for it's the me, the, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the, the people that are coming through, right? And right. You, you don't get to do research unless you have people coming through. And if the people aren't going to come through unless they have something to do, and you know, so that there, I really do believe that this is also an yeah. important force uh, towards that. Uh -huh. Okay. It's students. And this is also perceived by the, uh, the 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 number of student-led entrepreneurial groups on campus is mm -hmm. it's blossoming, right? Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurial social science, entrepreneurial English, entrepreneurial, mm -hmm. you know, this yeah. mm -hmm. because in every in every instance we're graduating more students. Then there are jobs, right? Uh -huh. And so those people, they have to be entrepreneurial, uh -huh. right? They have to. They will have to create their own they'll, jobs. They'll have to create uh -huh. their own jobs, uh -huh. right? I see. And so uh -huh. that everybody recognizes that. Uh -huh. Every smart student recognizes that. Uh -huh. And then they'll be thinking, "Wow, I better start doing that now." It's interesting because then you're telling me that it's, we're almost having entrepreneurship out of necessity. I In this case, that. yeah, I huh? do believe that. I think I, I, I think that's different than the faculty dynamic because mm. the young faculty they, they want to see their stuff in the wild. Right. But the student dynamic is I gotta get a job. I gotta right. find uh -huh. something to do. But the, the young faculty is that they, they're like, I'm done publishing papers. Publishing papers is bullshit. Uh -huh. They never nothing ever happens. Uh -huh. So we have different uh, visions or different perspectives here. The yeah, the students uh, probably um, they have a very short-term uh, yeah. need yeah. for a job maybe yeah. or yeah young faculty that do are not interested in just writing papers any longer and what uh, I mean but usually probably uh, uh, I-Corp probably funds the PI right or, or no, no, no? the, the, uh, the I-Corp program uh, just real quick is requires a PI uh -huh. but the the kernel of the activity is actually the student. Okay. So uh -huh. everything is built around the student. All right. Uh -huh. And the, the, the numbers are, I mean, and that, that, that that's the strategy from the beginning. Totally. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Uh -huh. So the, the PIs were important. The, 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 the goal was to try to uh, increase, accelerate mm -hmm. the change in culture toward uh, innovation. And how, how do you see the PIs with respect to, to entrepreneurship? Because they have a secure job. Uh, and everything uh, are they only when they think of entrepreneurship is 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 it because they're thinking about ways out for their students or for or way out is a maybe a strong word uh, well where are they thinking about possibilities or alternatives for their students or are they becoming more entrepreneurial also what what, what do you think that i think i think it's all of that it's you know they're, they're looking for jobs for their students they want to be relevant you know increasingly relevant to industry they they have self-interest they mm -hmm. realize that you know, people who go out and uh, go into industry can make a lot of money, mm -hmm. and if you're an entrepreneur, you make a lot of mm -hmm. money. And um, one of the goals that we had was that if we wanted to change the culture and we didn't accelerate the PI's culture change, mm -hmm. that the ability to, to overall change the institution would be very little. I so, so this is a strategy. You, strategy. you, you involve them because uh, by doing that, you will. They Get, were the vector. Well, I mean, that was the word that we used. What, what was it? Vector. We wanted to ah, infect the university. Uh -huh. And the way to infect the university... Vector, you said? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. uh, it's it's a, a viral term. Right? Yeah, okay. So, uh -huh. 
Like I'm, I'm a Just, virus. And yeah. I'm going to go and get into your body. <laughs> okay. And then oh, and now I understand a vector like a vector in, in, in biology. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So they're, they're the vector to, uh -huh. uh, to change the culture fast. Uh -huh. If you just go to the, the 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 provost level, you you know great, but those guys they they don't run they don't uh, yeah. they run the university, but they no. don't really yeah. run the no. university. No. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I always say that universities are sort of like volunteer organizations yeah. where you have to be really skillful yeah. to make sure that people do what you want yeah. without telling them that, that that's what you want and making them feel that that's what they want. Exactly. <laughs> they want right. uh, the, the formal authority is very very low, right? Yeah. Even even at the faculty, the Senate faculty level, the formal authority is very, very low. Mm -hmm. So, the, the, but the strategy was, um, we, we needed the PIs because they're the, they are the, the change agent. Mm -hmm. And you know, over time, you touch a thousand PIs and all of a sudden you touch 10,000 students. How difficult was that, for, I don't know if you, if you followed it from the beginning, but how, how difficult was that at the beginning when most PIs had that idea, I'm here doing science and these guys are trying to corrupt, let's say, my thinking into doing something else? Or Well, um, I'm the founder of the program, uh -huh. so I, I, I was okay, there okay, okay, at the okay. beginning. Uh -huh. that, that, that but you, you, you were the founder for, 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 for this area of the country or for the, for the whole? No, the whole thing. For the whole country, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that program was built... Uh, so I'm definitely you know, talking to the right person. <laughs> yeah, if you want to know about that program, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that program was um, engineered uh -huh. to, do, to do a couple of things. And uh, the, I can't take credit for how successful the program's been hmm. Because if there wasn't an appetite for that type of activity, mm. it wouldn't have True. been successful. Now, what we saw and what we knew is that we 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 because of the other programs that NSF runs, yes, the, the, the SBIR program. Do you know that program? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so I used yeah. to lead the uh -huh. software okay. services portfolio uh -huh. there, uh -huh. and so I saw young faculty members starting to, to take this okay. this leap. So that was a trend. You saw yeah, trends saw there. Very easy. Uh -huh. you know, just two years watching, three years mm -hmm. watching. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. why is that happening? Oh, right. We're, 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 they're sick of publishing papers. We've graduated too many students. Mm -hmm. They've got to find something for their students to do. Will there be an appetite for a program like this? I don't know, but I think so. Mm -hmm. and let me tell you why. Because of these three trends that we yeah. saw. Mm -hmm. So that was the that was the hypothesis going in, and then we built the program around that hypothesis, and of course it's you know proved to be successful. Mm -hmm. We didn't have the, the we didn't know it was going to be as successful as it is, um, but at the time we had that early indication, mm -hmm. right? People were saying to us, ah, oh, you know, I'm, I don't think faculty members want, I don't mm -hmm. I don't think the students want to do it. And I said, bullshit, they're already doing it. Mm -hmm. We've got an early leading mm -hmm. indication that it's happening. Mm -hmm. Look at the data from this program. Mm -hmm. So that, that was a known, that was a, uh, and, an emerging trend. And, and which ways do you think that uh, what this program had uh, went beyond what the other, uh, I think it's SB, SBIR. SBIR, and there's another S. SBIR. Yeah, uh, what, what those programs already offered. Yeah, so th those programs, they were really, and they continue to be, really good research programs mm. if you know what you're building okay and you, you like you have in your mind you've got a business model you've got a value proposition and you just need money uh -huh. to build it of course most people think that that's the biggest problem I just need mm. money to build it but that's not the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. The biggest problem is that what you're building, nobody cares mm -hmm. about. Right. Uh -huh. And so the, the question, the fundamental question that we had at the very beginning was, what kind of program can we put in place to answer the question, does anybody care? Right. And so what i does is it provides a small amount of money mm -hmm. and then an education to inform you and your team, does anybody care? Mm -hmm. And then if you demonstrate that people care, then accessing the other funds mm -hmm. are more effective because now you're now you're working in a direction that you've got data that people you know that mm -hmm. that's the, the right the right direction. And, and, and so the, the one thing that I Corps does differently than the others is that it immerses the team in a process orientation of customer discovery to validate whether or not anybody cares. Right. Where when you were starting the program where did you 
got to the, the, the inside that that was uh, what was missing or in, oh, in the from race. the SDR program. Uh -huh. Okay. So you know, I, I could I just saw all the failures. So it's uh -huh. like I I could talk to the team. So they, they had the money, they developed further the technology, but that technology is not uh, what uh, the market uh, right. needs or wants. Uh -huh. Alex, how many customers uh -huh. have you talked to about right. this? Uh -huh. Three. Right. Okay. How do you know anybody cares? Uh -huh. Well, you know, they're, they're really interested. They wanted a prototype. What do you mean they wanted a prototype? Uh -huh. You know, have, have you talked to them about what their process flow looks mm -hmm. like? Mm -hmm. No. I see. Uh -huh. Have you talked to them about what their, you know, how, how they buy other stuff like this? Mm -hmm. No. Have you gone off and done an IP search about all the other mm -hmm. 50 companies that have failed in this area? No. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. And did you have that kind of background to, for, for you know, for this question that we were asking? Are you yeah, an yeah. MBA or are you? No. I was an engineer uh -huh. uh, out of graduate school, also building a company. Uh -huh. So I'd have oh, that. So, so you had yeah. personal experience, direct, I, direct I, personal experience. In yeah. the, in the uh -huh. 90s, uh -huh. uh, that was my pathway. Okay. So. Um, that that experience led me to Silicon Valley, and um, I learned how to build companies out here, mm -hmm. asking and answering those questions, and then raising resources to pursue that. And then I was recruited to NSF in 2003 uh -huh. to basically rebuild some connections between the federal government and Silicon Valley. And so I'd have this experience of, of basically doing mm -hmm. just that right. uh -huh. here. And then I went there and started to look around the systems and say, what what can we do to make these systems even more powerful? Mm -hmm. And then over time, That's hard it was like, uh -huh. okay, I, uh -huh. I see what the gaps are here. Let's build, let's build a program to fill these gaps. Did, did you go to any of the, like, like for example, here in Berkeley, I, I always think that the, the formal programs that we have for that is either at Haas or at the Sutarja, the, the engineering schools. Did you? go to, to those guys to get uh, or, or it was all intuitive and and you did it from your own uh, experience as a, as a as an entrepreneur originally so the, the to, you know to start this uh, for what I understand you, you, you yeah it was the beginning of a, a small a, a smaller program uh, it's, 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 it's a little MBA for for scientists or, or together with uh, the, the the financial support as well right yeah so the um my, my experience in the um, SBIR program was trying to help companies mm -hmm. to, to get across that gap. And as, a, as an entrepreneur, I was a student of entrepreneurship. And so, you know, I read entrepreneurship books. Okay. I read uh -huh. the, you know, the chasing the, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And there was one book that I came across that was seminal. And that was uh, Steve Blank's. Oh yeah, Steve uh, Blank's. Yeah. Four Steps to yeah. Epiphany. Uh -huh. You know that yeah, book? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that book. It's the best book he's yeah. ever uh -huh. written. Mm -hmm. And that book was a book that I used to mm -hmm. tell okay. people to read. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. And uh -huh. so, once. So you once sort of built the let's say the the program around uh, those concepts of lean and. Uh, so here's the serendipity, is that he was building this class at Stanford, mm -hmm. at the exact same time that I was building the, the foundation uh -huh. of, of i -Corps. And I asked myself, what program are we gonna deploy to these students? Mm -hmm. So as I looked up to yeah. see what Steve Blank's doing, yeah. you know, because I love his stuff, yeah. uh -huh. and I've loved his stuff for yeah. 10 years. Mm -hmm. I called him up and said, you know you know that class that you just started to teach? Mm -hmm. I wanna teach it here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that that was serendipity. That wasn't right. that wasn't planned. And what was it in any short? Uh, was it a shorter v or a smaller version, or, or just the, the the same thing? Yeah, we we uh -huh. changed some things, uh -huh. but it was it was a it was essentially uh -huh. take give me your syllabus, okay, and uh -huh. teach the course just like you taught it. Uh -huh. We we did change a little a couple uh -huh. couple things up, but they were it was around the edges. Mm -hmm. For the most part, it was just give us the syllabus. Mm -hmm. Steve, come teach the course. Right. In fact, we, we went to Stanford, uh -huh. so we, we, we brought teams to Stanford. Okay. If you had to restart this, the, the I-Corp, I I uh, think from, well, well, well start, start another program now, what would you add to, to or what, what, is there anything that you would do different, or? Um, yeah, I mean, there's... Well, we learn from, you know, from, 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 from the things that we do right and from the things that we do wrong, and... Yeah, but, so the, the... In ways of making it uh, more effective, and more, more efficient, and more effective at the center, you know, we we had to get to scale 
very quickly. Uh -huh. And um, getting to scale very quickly means that you have to put in place processes mm. that are replicable. Right. And uh, we we made the um, the program um, copy exact. Mm. Okay. So we, we insisted that if you're going to teach it, you're it has teaching to be like it this that. way. Okay. Uh -huh. And that made the program um, fragile. I mean, uh -huh. it does, it's not it's, it's not as nimble uh -huh. as it as it could be uh, because we had to get to scale quickly. And if I were doing it again, I would try to figure out a way to have a sandbox, mm -hmm. a, you know, a play area, right. and something that gives a facility to experiment with, uh -huh. and then figure out a clean pathway to bring those successful experiments oh, I see. across uh, the So, so, so you, the you, would, you would probably try to learn from the several different, it was almost like starting McDonald's, but saying experiment with your own sandwiches, that just or, or hamburgers, just make sure that you tell us what you're doing yeah. and when you're succeeding so that others can... Uh, yeah, I, I would, I would uh -huh. have given more thought and energy on how to do that. Right. Because it, that, that's, that's, what, that's how you build a healthy, mm -hmm. healthy organization, uh -huh. right? And uh, we didn't give enough thought to how to do that. That's one. Yeah. The second thing is, is I would have formally figured out how to um, keep track and build a network of all the people that went that, that went through the program. Uh -huh. Because right now they just come and go. Right. And you know, there's so fifteen hundred professors that have gone through that program. Uh -huh. There's fifteen hundred students that have gone through. And, 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 and you don't have a very good way of good. tracing them and uh, that's right. figuring out what what. And all of those, not not so much figuring out what will work, but having them help each other. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like Alex, yeah. you know, you're, yeah, yeah. you're an I Corps uh -huh. uh, recipient. Uh -huh. Oh, Steve, you're an I Corps oh, yeah, recipient like, yeah. too. You guys uh -huh. should go talk, uh -huh. right? Help each other. Like a net, forming a network yeah, of. A network, yeah. right? Uh -huh. And so that, those are the two things that um, we thought about in the beginning, but we did we failed uh -huh. on those two areas. Um, and, and we. You probably had to put uh, a lot of effort in other things for it to happen, and then those yeah. seem to be well. We'll do it later, and yeah, uh -huh. and then you know, it's just uh -huh. like whatever, it didn't happen. Those are those are two areas. Um, one other, um, I would have spent more time trying to decentralize the decision making mm -hmm. on the the, the team, how the teams get in, because right now the decision making is it all goes to the NSF and then mm -hmm. the NSF okay. picks the teams, mm -hmm. and that's it's hard as shit to scale that. Mm -hmm. uh, I would have pushed out the, the, the decision awesome. making to the to the nodes, mm -hmm. to the community. Mm -hmm. I would have said, Berkeley, I don't care what teams you pick, yeah. you, you, don't, yeah. but don't give us crappy teams. Yeah. And if you give us crappy teams, you're not going to be giving us teams yeah. anymore. Yeah. So here's the process for you to mm -hmm. give us teams that, that we want. Mm -hmm. So I would have figured that out. Um, we yeah, didn't, we that didn't would that definitely scale the, the, the program even faster. Yeah, well, that would have scaled the program right. faster. And it also would have given authority to somebody at Cal to, uh -huh. to do some of this mapping stuff. Uh -huh. So that that's that's the those are the things I would have done. I would have probably made the awards a little smaller. Mm -hmm. So they're they're fifty thousand dollar awards, and that's too big for yeah. what what uh -huh. the teams need to do. No, I have this impression, and again, it's it's the bias of someone who comes from a country where there's very little money, and most most companies have to bootstrap or you know. Uh, but I, I sometimes I feel that some of the money that uh, startups get here intoxicate them before you know. Before, before they, they, they take their, the, the wise decisions that they should be taking, they, they have money that makes them uh, take stupid decisions because, I mean, if you have money in your pockets, you're going to spend it, right? Uh, I agree so, with you. Uh, I, I, I believe that it's definitely important to have some money because otherwise great ideas never develop, but sometimes, you know, too much money is, 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 is definitely toxic. worth it. Yeah, yeah, it's toxic. And besides, sometimes well, we, in, in your case, it's sort of uh, it's it, it, it's given away money almost, right? It's, there's no well, it is completely given away. It's a grant. Yeah, right. it's a grant. Yeah. Uh, so they do, they do not have to. Well, of course, they have to report to you, but it's not that you're going to be there in the, their advisory board or something telling them what they have to do. But here with venture capitalists, it seems that you know venture capitalists take over the, the, the hijack the the thinking of uh, many companies from from the start. Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm a venture capitalist uh -huh. now, and I would say that the... Well, some, at least some, some do that. Or, or, or do you have that impression or not, well, that this happens? What, what ends up happening is that the, uh, the companies and the venture capitalists have different business models. Mm -hmm. And you know, when, I, when I'm thinking about what the implications of my business model are yeah. to your company, 
you know, I'm not thinking about yeah, your interests. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. thinking about yeah, my it's, interests. Yeah, it's, it's agencies, right? A yeah, there's totally. an agency problem. There's yeah. an agency uh -huh. problem. Yeah. That's, uh -huh. that's exactly yeah. what mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. That's a perfect way to put it. Mm -hmm. And that now you've got you've got the question of are are they mm -hmm. you know aligned? Yeah, and mm -hmm. they aren't always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they probably uh, most times they won't be well. well they're aligned to the, the extent that, uh, of course, if you don't have the money, you can't uh, you can't go anywhere, right? But uh, but as soon as you have that money, you already have another partner, and many times a very powerful partner, including the fact that, uh, of course, the venture capitalist has already some ex has a lot of expression. The, the, the authority also seems to come from you know I I know because I've seen it elsewhere. And uh, but entrepreneurship is also a little bit about well you know I will do it I will do the impossible because I don't know that it's impossible right <laughs> so I have it yeah. um, so I guess uh, yeah th th there's an agency uh, issue there and uh, yeah um, so so uh, thinking about uh, I I Corp now now I understand that uh, well it it is definitely a a very successful uh, program, you know. Jerry told me, "Yeah, this is a, this box here. You know, it's lost in the middle of all of this." But he he said, "Talk to to Errol because uh, we believe that this is something that." Uh, and and he was he was actually also saying about the importance of getting the PIs uh, understand that entrepreneurship was, uh, from his perspective, that that was something. That, that box in that ecosystem has done more to influence the growth of ecosystems around the country than all of those programs in the, mm -hmm. in the ecosystem have done together. Right. Because it's, you know, this is a federal program, it's shared, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's this, uh, you know, uh, it's separated, it's uh, decentralized. Now everybody's talking just customer discovery, the lean startup. Like, Everybody knows that language now, but they didn't, you know, 10 and years ago. And coming from the uh, National Science yes, Foundation, yes. it says, well, so it's not only right. uh, papers that they value, right? I, I think, yeah. yeah. There's, uh, there's only two, possibly three organizations in America that could have done that. Mm -hmm. NSF, NIH, and DARPA, okay. and probably in that order. Uh -huh. And right. There, there's a reason why NSF did it, uh -huh. uh, but only there's only you know the Department of Energy couldn't have done that, the Department of Defense couldn't have done that. Why do you think that you got there first? Uh, because of the because of the um, a couple of things. One is that NSF is they they're just used to piloting stuff. Mm -hmm. They're used to taking huge risks. NIH is not used uh -huh. to taking huge risks. DARPA is used to yeah. taking huge risks, but NIH is not. Mm -hmm. um, and they they also have a this, this notion of being um, being able to put small money mm -hmm. to to work. Mm -hmm. DARPA when they when they take a risk, yeah, it's they it's, like it's big money. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And they, so they they would have looked at the program and said that's stupid. That's too mm -hmm. small. You know, we got to do it at DARPA scale. Uh -huh. And so the, 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 the reason why I think NSF was got there first is because it's just the culturally... The, the, it, it, it already resonated. gave smaller grants to, yeah. to researchers. and yeah. it, it already had a connection yeah. to the academics, uh -huh. it already gave smaller grants. It was the SBIR yeah. program was so founded at NSF, mm -hmm. it literally yeah. was the first, uh -huh. first SBIR program was at NSF. And so they just had this experience of you know, running small programs yeah. and mm -hmm. working with academics. And, mm -hmm. So I think it was just a natural thing. Natural so I'd say that uh, uh, ICORP would be to entrepreneurship what uh, DARPA was to the internet, for example. <laughs> well, I, I, I would not make that claim. <laughs> If, if we had gotten the networking part right, uh -huh. then yeah, then maybe zero, someday it would have been that. Oh, but we didn't get the networking so part right. Uh, okay, let's <laughs> go back then to this networking part. What 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 fails there if if anything fails? Because it still seems very clever the idea of involving the PIs and making them feel that. So, what 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 is still missing in the networking? Uh, yeah, the 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 investment of. Um, the, um, getting the network kind of established and, and breathing and working and being alive. So, so when you mean the networks, you mean the ecosystems, or no, 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 no. the people, the people, so uh -huh. the, all the PIs that went through uh -huh. the program, right? Uh -huh. so they have to have something oh, to do, right? Okay. Uh -huh. There's got to be some community to be in. There's right. got to have some protocol to talk to one another, right? Uh -huh. 
there's got to be some right. uh -huh. reason yeah. for them to be in the, So in the that, that has to do with uh, that thing that you said, that maybe uh, if you had kept track of the alumni or of the program or, or something, that, that, that would probably... Is it difficult to do that afterwards and, you know, and bring it in? It hasn't or? been done yet. It hasn't? Because uh, I just wonder if it's not something that... I think it's, um, it, it seems... You know, it seems obvious mm -hmm. that, that it should be done, and yet somebody has to do it. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to take it mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. They have to invest in it. They've got to go bring the resources to the table. They have to have the vision for it. They have to. It takes leadership, mm -hmm. and right. those, those programs don't. They don't just happen. Uh -huh. Somebody has to make them happen. To, to, to believe on that, and uh, do you see any leadership uh, in the? program or or in or that, that could take that over yeah, you see yeah. yeah i think you know their 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 challenges right now are scaling not uh -huh. how do we make it better but how do we make it more uh -huh. how do we make more of it right and so it's just not it's not high on their priority list okay at this, uh -huh. at this moment but some 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 of the reasons uh, uh to scale, well some some of the things that would lead to scale at least from your talk, or already depend a little bit on that as well, right? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think there's. You can make a strong case that it would hmm. be a good time to make those investments. Hmm. But the people that are in in the decision authority to make those investments, they're not seeing that. Uh, no, they're cranking it out. They're like, how do we do it ten times faster? Yeah. Not, you know, how do we add three more layers of value? How do we get it faster, faster, faster? Mm. I see. So huh? I, I think that you know their their problems are. They have higher pop, mm -hmm. priority yeah. problems. Or, or, or different problems, at least. Good. Yeah. Let me just uh, run a check you. with uh, Henry here if he's ever arriving, because I think that, you know, what we... Uh, I sort of already...